Shut the bullet. Oh, that's right. I make cooking videos now. Can you keep up? What's up, everyone? My name is Future Canoe. Today, we're following a cooking tutorial from a small creator in the gaming niche. After we recreate it, we'll rate it one through ten. I'm gonna share my secret recipe. We got the the mince. I got the mince. We got the cream. We got the cream. We got the butter. We got the butter. We got the breadcrumbs. We don't have breadcrumbs. <laughs> But no need to worry, all we gotta do is grab some weak old brioche buns from my Popeyes video, cut them up, bake them dry, and then pound them with my most experienced hand. And now we got breadcrumbs. We got the stock potting. We got the better than bouillon. We got the onion. Potatoes. We got half an onion and some potatoes. And the raw red alignon. Let's go. And I don't know what that is. Let's go. Oh, actually, you need that. Uh, you need this. You need this as well. The soy. We also got the soy sauce. And now let's go. Number one. Wash your hands. Washing my hands. If you don't know how to chop an onion. I don't know how to chop an onion. I think he's holding the knife wrong. Also, is he chopping on the serving tray? Don't question me right now, okay? All right, anyways, let's get to chopping. Man, this knife sucks, dude. That knife looked really dull. Let's see how my knife is. Oh, it sucks too. I really gotta make the knife sharpening video soon. We got a new knife and I shaved my mustache with it so it's sharp as a razor. Just watch. Now you see what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna destroy this goddamn onion. Yeah, this works. This is how they do it in every good cooking show. Gerdon Ramsey, get out of here. I get out! Put that on. Get some butter. Put a pan on and throw in some butter. You know, you have an Italian girlfriend. Oh, you have to put with olive oil, Felix. That's the reason why I don't have an Italian girlfriend. You don't have anybody. Let's add that onion. Let it zimmer. Let's add the onion and let it zimmer. There you go. Look at that. Look at that onion. Look at that. Look at that onion. Look at that. Using metal to scrape your saucepan higher. So you just want to get the onion some color. Giving the onion some color. Then you want to grab a bowl. I don't have a bowl, so I'm using a plate. I don't have a plate, so I'm using a bowl. Don't do it. And we're going to mix that with the... With the mince. After we cool the onions down, we'll add in to the mince. Basically, you get the cream. Oh my god, it's so slippy. <laughs> Let's see if I can get the cream open. Nice job, team. I don't really go for a recipe. I sort of like add a little bit of breadcrumbs. If it's too moist, more breadcrumbs. If it's too dry, more cream. That sounds simple enough. We'll hit it with some breadcrumbs and then add some cream to moist it up. Then you get your hands dirty. Ah, oh, feels good. Very nice. Then with gloves to keep my hands clean. But it still feels very nice. Just uh, work those meatballs. Ah. Working these meatballs. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Mm. You can eat the ball raw. Mm. Didn't know that about ground beef, but let me try a piece. Yeah, very bad idea. If you do with veggie meat. We add a little bit of pepper and salt. It's starting to taste nice now. We'll add some seasoning, and I believe it tastes nice now. Forgot to tell you, you gotta boil the potatoes. Well, how do I boil potatoes? If you don't know how to boil potatoes, I don't know what to tell you, man. You're done. To make the potatoes, we'll wash them, chop them, put them in a pot, and then cold water lit on, boil till they're hot. I would never lick my fingers while I'm cooking like that. Yeah, well, that's the pleasure of cooking, is that you can eat meanwhile. So that by the time you finish cooking, you're also full. While the potato boil, we can um, roll the balls. You gotta really roll these, huh? Look at that. Beautiful. So when the potatoes are boiling, we can roll the meatballs. Beautiful. Like any typical country dish is based on just grabbing stuff you have in the house. Maybe you have some old old meat, you know, just grind that shit down, make some meatballs out of it. Sounds great. Old meat is the only type of meat I have anyways. Put it at sort of low heat. You don't want to burn the edges. With a pan on medium low heat, we'll start laying down these balls. Keep them moving. 
Since our balls are very fragile, I'm just gonna keep it here for now. It's getting there. They look great. I'm very happy with them. After one side gets some color, we'll flip it over. And at this point, our potatoes are pretty much done. Now we'll turn up the heat and start moving it a little bit. And why did it turn black? Brown, crispy looking thing. Means they're ready. Take them out. I'm not sure if they're done, so we're gonna open one. I mean, it's pretty much done, I think. Alright, now we'll just take them out and leave it on the side while we make the sauce. We're gonna use the last bit of cream, low temperature, and just put that in there. The pan looks too greasy and ugly. Like looking in the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get a new pan. So a brand new pan and hit it with some cream. Then you're gonna add some soy, get that brown color. I found it a little weird, but we'll add the soy sauce into the heavy cream. Then stir it around to give it that brown color. Oh, so good! Yeah! Now it's the assembling process. Pretty straightforward. Just potatoes, meat, and sauce. How many meatballs do you want, Marzia? Um, six. Six meatballs? I'll take seven so that PewDiePie pays attention to me because I can handle more balls than Marzia. I only want it in the... Too bad. Too bad. My roommate also doesn't like sauce on his potatoes. Well, too bad as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. We're gonna add some rorada lingon. Very nice. It will contrast the the sweetness will be very nice. I think I saw cranberry on the jar, so it's some type of jam. Did he ever use the stock pot though? I only have strawberry jam. It's not as tart as cranberry, but it'll still work, I think. And there you go. Look at that beautiful uniform. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I just shopped with my mom for furnitures for the past 4 hours because these meatballs are looking delicious. But as usual, just like my self-esteem, the true answer lies in Instagram. This kind of looks like a disaster your geology teacher will explain to you in class. Or a tourist destination in Arizona. It's giving the vibe of when your mom loves you, even though she's not the best mom, but she's trying her best. And you can see it. I'm gonna try to grab a bite with every component in it, and then finally top it off with jam. We're using the Ligma Fork prototype because the actual one is busy. Now it's time to taste and rate it 1 through 10. It may look like cafeteria food, but it definitely tastes like the staff are having a good day. All made from simple ingredients, yet it has complex flavors and texture. The savory flavors from the meatballs and the sauce is perfectly balanced by the soft, starchy potatoes. And on top of that, the sweetness and the slight acidity from the jam completes the dish. Uh, but honestly, I can do it without the jam. Overall, I'll give this dish an 8.2 out of 10. PewDiePie knows what he's talking about. Anyways, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers. When we get there, I'll take on the challenge of egg fried rice and we'll be following the goat of chinese cooking chef wong so please subscribe and get us there all right thank you